okay, this is this is a book cover for a book I'm making with one of my clients, Kim Ha Campbell. It's her true story of how she came to the U.S. and she was penniless, lived on welfare and food stamps, and then um, worked her way through college, had a dead end job in a corporation, got into real estate, uh, became the top broker owner in Remax worldwide, and then sold all those companies, and now she's in the travel industry in a network marketing path, doing network marketing in the travel industry, and she has 87,000 people in her downline. So even if you don't know anything about network marketing, you can imagine that, that there's a lot of value in having 87,000 on your people on your team. And so this is her book cover that I created for her, and her book uh, that I collaborated with her on. And she just was at my celebrity launch pad this weekend because she understands how valuable it is to become a best-selling author and to become a celebrity version of herself. See, that's what, and that's what today's presentation is about. It is about how do you become a celebrity? How do you, how do you create the positioning that you are somebody super special and not just another network, not another, another, another but network, rather uh, a celebrity uh, uh, celebrity version of network of marketer. Network and I'm hearing a and lot I'm of hearing a lot of that would be really that great. Would be really great. Is that possible? All right. Possible? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Clint, hold on one second. Self. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Is that better? Yeah, that yeah, that, I think that's better. I think that's better. Nope, now I'm nope, still getting now I'm still getting the feedback. Is there on your Clint on your computer you should have there should be in your meeting dashboard a green circle phone icon. Yeah. Yeah. Click that. How's that? How's, How's that? Better? That's better? And then hang up your phone. Share better. The recording has started. Started. Muted. Muted. Hold on, uh, Hold on. Hold on. All right. Try now, Quinn. All right. So, All right, so are, you hearing, are you hearing the computer? computer? Yep. We're hearing you through the computer now. Okay, great. So okay, now great. So now I can hang up the phone. Yep. All right. All right. Is there any echo? Okay, good. Okay, good. So, is there any so I think muted. that's better. I think that's better. All right. No, I'm Nobody getting echo. I'm getting echo. Okay, hold on. Um, there's going to be a time for questions here in a little bit, um, so I'm going to mute you guys, and then when we open up the space for questions, I'll unmute everybody. Um, but Clint, just a real quick introduction with Clint. I met Clint maybe a couple of years ago at another event, and I just I watched his presentation, and I just knew that I was going to be working with him at some point, but the timing wasn't right back then. Um, and then I got to the point where I was finishing writing my book and I just got the intuitive hit that it was time to reach out to him and see what he was up to. So I ended up getting his online course and then uh, going to his live training uh, local, what is it called, Clint, local, uh, instant local celebrity. And uh, that's where I booked three uh, TV segments. And so he's just going to show you, you know, why it's important to position yourself as a, uh, as a celebrity and how to use this formula to get on TV utilizing your book and create that positioning in the marketplace. So he's brilliant. This, this training that he has is super unique. I haven't seen anything like it, and it's just taking off, and lots of people are, are really taking advantage of what he has to offer because it's super kick-ass. So um, without further ado, Clint, you want to take it away? Oops, hold on, Clint. I think I muted you too. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? screen that says A screen to pay IC and pay market over the year? Yep, you're on, my friend. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right, so, All right, so I'm still getting I'm an echo. I'm still getting on. an echo, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. All right, how's All right. that? How's that? Is that better? Testing one, two. Now the echo is gone. Can you hear me still, George? Muted. Uh, yes, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm muting myself. So just. 
Just go for it. Okay, good. Let's go. So, uh, you guys, welcome, all right? Um, I am the current GKIC Info Marketer of the Year, and, uh, you know, this is for people who are sick and tired or unwilling to make excuses, and if that's you, then you should be psyched because this is the real deal. Um, I, and I, I know a lot of people think I'm not really right for TV. I got a face for radio, but you know, the guy on the right with the yellow face, he happens to be a giant TV star. And personally, I think there is no such thing as a face for radio. We have a saying amongst the men in my self-help movement, and that is, are you going to put your ego before your commitment or your commitment before your ego? And, you know, worrying about how you look, if you're fat, if you're ugly, if you have a face for radio, quote unquote, that's all ego. None of that really matters at all. There are all kinds of TV stars, and TV is just a communication medium to get a giant platform, and that's what this is all about. So really what's important is desire. Desire is the most important element of becoming a celebrity. And, you know, when I talk about becoming a celebrity, I am not talking about um, – let me just do this for a second. I am not talking about uh, you becoming – Kim Kardashian, or, and I want you to be able to see me when I'm saying this stuff, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm not talking about you becoming Kim Kardashian. I'm talking about you becoming a person who your prospects and your customers look at as being superior in, in elevation above all of your competition. That's what I'm talking about. And if, if you want to do that, then the fastest way to do it is with television. Television is like a, a rocket ship to getting celebrity status in the eyes of your customers and target market. And the key to it all is desire. That's really what it's all about. Do you want it or do you not? Are you, are you ready to make it happen or not? And so uh, this is not Will Ferrell. This is the Anchorman, right? That's the Anchorman. And... I want to put this chat over here so I can see. Can, can these people go in the chat and, and chat? Let's see. Good. Uh, any, any Will Ferrell fans here? If you're a Will Ferrell fan, type in yes. Okay, I want to see anybody is alive. Any Will Ferrell fans? Yes? Okay, cool. Uh, Celeste, Carrie. All right, good. So check it out. This was, this was Will Ferrell as the anchorman in North Dakota. I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Nice. Amber, you look lovely tonight. Thank you, Ron. You too. Are you married? No. <laughs> well, I am, so go give me ideas. That is here. Will Santa Farrell co-anchoring a real newscast in a reprisal of his beloved Ron Burgundy character, part of a promotion tour, obviously, for the soon-to-be-released Anchorman 2. You can imagine, as a broadcaster, wow. that was the most nerve-wracking, because you just don't know which way he's going to go or what he's going to say. The king of awkward anchor banter. All right, notice, this was Will Farrell on television hosting a newscast on CBS North Dakota. And it's being reported on by CNN. See, he went on TV in North Dakota, and he got picked up by CNN and all kinds of places. Now, I did a search. This is the search that says Will Ferrell, North Dakota on Google. And you'll notice it says... If you zoom in. You could see how it was picked up in the New York Daily News, in the Hollywood Reporter, the Washington Post, the Guardian, that's an English newspaper. Uh, down here is Time Magazine. The guy made worldwide news by going on TV in North Dakota, and I did not hear about it when I was in North Dakota. I was not in North Dakota when I heard about this. And I read about this, on another news source that wasn't even quoted here, I read about it in USA Today on my iPhone app for USA Today. And it just shows you, you can make worldwide news by going on local TV. Now, I understand, he is a giant movie star. 
and we don't have the resources of the giant movie star. But I want you to understand something. Major corporations are using local TV news and talk show interviews as a way to generate sales. And so are major celebrities. Major celebrities are going on local TV news and talk show interviews. And what this presentation is really about is how you can get awesome marketing videos and celebrity positioning for free. And the way you do that is by using the power of local TV. That's how you do it. It's awesome. It is truly awesome. And this is one of my mentors, Dan Kennedy. Any Dan Kennedy fans in there? If you're a Dan Kennedy fan, type in Planet Dan. Anybody? Pla anybody else on Planet Dan? Anybody? George Carroll is on Planet Dan. All right. Well, we got one smart person out there. Uh, Dan Kennedy has been the internet marketing. He's been the guru, okay, for the top internet marketers in the world for a real long time. And Dan says, if you're not establishing yourself as a celebrity to your clients in target market, you're asleep at the wheel. Because this is the unfortunate situation that we all find ourselves in today. This is the, the marketing environment that we exist in. Everybody is doing the same thing. They are on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, every kind of social media. And how do you stand out in this kind of environment? You have a little icon like this guy right here. You think that's inspiring people to give that guy money? You think this icon here is inspiring people to give this person money? That's not inspiring anybody to give you money. You think this Pac-Man icon, I mean, if, you, if this is your whole brand, how do you get the money? The way to get the money is to be this person, see? That person stands out from all the rest. How do you stand out from all the rest? Well, you've got to obviously do something different. And Dan says, if you're not making, working on making yourself more important in the marketplace, you're working on the wrong stuff. He says that whoing is more important than doing. That's the same thing. Who you are is way more important than what you actually do. Think about the money that you pay to gurus and experts. It's who they are that gets you to give them the money. Like, this is really fascinating, okay? I'm just going to go back to this slide for a second. This is so fascinating. I did a study. I typed in revenues of expert of uh, personal, personal development self-help seminars. You guys realize that there are $500 million worth of tickets sold for personal development and self-help seminars every year, $500 million. Do you know that Tony Robbins... Anybody ever hear of Tony Robbins? If you've, right, if you've ever heard of Tony Robbins, type in Tony in the chat, please. Carrie, good. George, Katie, good, good, good. Charity, good. You know that Tony Robbins has this seminar called Date with Destiny, right? Do you realize Date with Destiny alone does $50 million a year in sales? That's one-tenth of the whole personal development industry from just one of his brands. He has multiple brands, Unleash the Power Within, Day with Destiny, Wealth Mastery, etc., etc., etc. One of his brands represents 10% of the industry. And that's why this statement, whoing is more important than doing, it's because of Tony Robbins, who Tony Robbins is. And what I have come up with is I, I cannot make you Tony Robbins, but if you use this formula, this is my mathematical formula for getting on TV anytime you want, and I will explain it in this presentation. Then you can increase who you are by becoming a celebrity on TV. You can do it. I've done it. George Carroll has done it. Many of my students who I've met through George have done it, and you can do it too. Because this is the mathematical formula that has been proven to work, and it has got me to here. Zoom out a little bit. 
it has got it, it helps you to get these free marketing videos and promotional assets that you can use in your marketing and in your positioning of who you are so that your clients think that you're somebody special that's the front page of my website clintarthur.tv and you can't buy marketing assets like that you have to earn them and unfortunately or fortunately there's only one way to earn them and that is to get on TV and this is the formula for how to make that happen now when you get on enough TV you can put together your clips into what I call a sizzle reel and it'll look something like this this is our new best friend here Clint Arthur motivational speaker and author of break through your upper limits on TV Clint Arthur Clint the liver he pours it on me is all hard and he's a total expert in this space like nobody we've ever met only Clint is the only guy that delivers this this local television station media training Clint Arthur you totally rock Clint over delivers and he says it all the time it's very true believe the man he knows what he's talking about wow like this is easy this is what I'm looking for and you know Clint said it would be like that but now that we're here, I'm actually experiencing it. If you're interested in getting your celebrity status elevated, Clint's the guy you gotta go to. Baby, let me tell you. My celebrity mentor, Clint Arthur. Delivered so far beyond my wildest expectations. Thank God for Clint Arthur. He's anointed to do this work. Clint Arthur's a guy that you can work with. He's gonna deliver on what he promises, and he, by far, exceeded my expectations in terms of making this happen, hooking me up, coaching me and guiding me through. If you live as if this is going to be the last year of your life, you are going to look at everything in a much more empowering Oh, I have this deadline. I've got to make it happen this year. You mentioned that that's a, an important thing to ask of yourself. How comfortable are you not being comfortable in your comfort zone? Life begins where your comfort zone ends. And the more you push outside of your everyday life and your boundaries, the more you're going to grow as a person and achieve in this world and create as a legacy. It's scary. It can be. Yeah. That's when it's great, isn't yeah. it? It's scary. Clint Arthur, you're the best. Oh, Thanks thank so you. much for being here. We just love you. Okay. Let's give him a round of applause. Let's give him a round The GKIC Info Marketer of the Year, Clint Arthur. All right, so look, I cannot guarantee that you're going to have Brooke Shields in your sizzle reel. But, and, and, you know, this doesn't happen like, just like that, all right? This took me three years to make this happen. But look what I was able to accomplish in three years. I was able to get on the top morning television show in the world, and I was able to become an award-winning information marketer as a result of this entire process. And if you don't think that getting on these shows has anything to do with it, you're crazy. Getting on these shows has uh, so much to do with it. Let's begin right here. You know, how well you succeed in this world is dependent on how well you think of yourself. And by get, going on all of these shows, it's not really about, about ego so much as it is about building your own sense of self-worth. It's, it's essential. And building your confidence in what you, who you are and what you have to offer, it's essential stuff. And I, I, I'm telling you, I wasn't always this way, and I'm as surprised, as pleasantly surprised as anybody that this has happened because this was me on, from 1995 until 2001, I was driving a taxi, okay? And... Uh, by New Year's Eve of the millennium, I didn't know what I was going to do. I really didn't. And shortly, like, when I was like 27 years old, I went to my parents' house in New York City. This is the apartment building where I grew up. It's like a lower middle class housing development in New York City. And I was sitting in the living room with my parents, and they get in a big fight. And my dad storms out of the living room. I turn to my mom and I say, hey, the way he resents you, have you been cheating on dad? She doesn't say anything. And then my mind started racing. And out of nowhere, I said to her, is he my real father?
When I was 27 years old, I found out for the first time that I had never met my real father. See? And what happened was that it sent me on a, a, an, a, like an adventure to try to, like, try to become famous. I, I had this feeling somewhere inside of me that if maybe I could become famous enough, maybe my daddy would see me. Maybe my daddy would love me. And that started out by putting me on the Hollywood dream, okay? I moved out to L.A., and I lived in this little boat. And, it would, you know, there's no heat or hot water on the boat, no electricity. I, I, on New Year's Eve of the millennium, I was in this bunk under those heavy down comforters wearing all my clothes because it was freezing. And, you know, I'd been driving a cab by that point for almost six years. And I was thinking, how did this happen to me? You know, I was supposed to be a great writer like my creative writing teacher in high school, Frank McCourt, who won the Pulitzer Prize with this book. Anybody here who's a Frank McCourt fan? Any Frank McCourt fans, fans of Angela's Ashes, please type in yes. Carrie, yes. Rosie, yes. Katie, yeah. I mean, I believe it's the most beautiful piece of prose. It's funny. I was showing people... I was showing people the new book that I'm writing with Kim, and I was, I was going over, you know, because we're all writers, right? So this is the real process. So I'm going over the, this is just a, a, a galley of the book, and I'm going over the acknowledgments, and I'm like, this is the acknowledgments from Frank McCourt's book, and I read her the acknowledgments, and it's like a freaking poem, you know, Frank McCourt's. Acknowledgements. This is a small hymn to an exaltation of women. Arlene Dahlberg fanned the embers. Lisa Schwartzman read early pages and encouraged me. Mar Mary Smythe, elegant novelist herself, read the first third and passed it on to Molly Friedrich, who became my agent and thought that Nina Graham, editor-in-chief at Scribner, would be just the right person to put the book on the road, and Molly was right. I mean, this acknowledgement is like a, a poem. And I'm like, you know, that's what's inspired me to become a writer. And it, it put me behind the wheel of a cab, man. Even after I, I went to, after I graduated from high school, I went to the Wharton Business School, the same school as Donald Trump and all his kids. I graduated with a 4.0 GPA in my entrepreneurial management major. And then I saw this movie, She's Gotta Have It. And I thought to myself, you know, that, that stirred something in me because Spike Lee wrote the movie and he directed, produced, and starred in the movie, became rich, famous, you know, filmmaker, producer. He owned the movie. He made all this money. That seemed like the way to go, right? And that was my first foray into wanting to become famous. And that is what made me into a taxi driver for six years. And by New Year's Eve of the Millennium, I was in my bunk on my boat, and I started crying because that was me wrestling on the number one champion high school wrestling team in New York City when I was a kid. And that kid created all the opportunities, and that was the adult that was blowing all the opportunities. And I didn't know what I was going to do to turn things around. I really didn't know. And so that night on the boat, I started crying my eyes out. Like, what the hell am I going to do to get my life back on the, on the right track? And that night, I swore an oath to myself. I was going to do everything I could to change who I was and how I was showing up. And the first thing I did was I burned all my books and screenplays that I wrote. Burned all the manuscripts. I said, if this is what being a writer is all about, destroying my life, it's not worth it. Then that's when I started doing all kinds of personal self-help work. I did Unleash the Power Within. I walked on fire with Tony Robbins. And notice how few coals there are under Oprah's feet because she's a celebrity. She gets special treatment. I don't think that's beneficial. I think that kind of special treatment hurts you. I did Toltec Wisdom Studies with Don Miguel Ruiz, author of The Four Agreements. Any fans of The Four Agreements on here? Love it. Yeah. I, I live by it, you know, don't take anything personal. I did Toltec wisdom studies. I did men's power circles and ceremonies, man. I did everything. 
I did everything you could imagine to try to change who I was. And sure enough, as I changed my inner circumstances, so did the outer circumstances of my life change. This is the actual bread and butter service presentation at Gordon Ramsay Steak, the top restaurant in Las Vegas today. And you see next to the bread is a circle of butter. That's mine. I got out of taxi driving, got into gourmet food, and specifically portion control gourmet butter. I know it's a long, crazy story, but that's mine. And I have most of the top restaurants in Vegas and many top hotels around the country. And as soon as I started making a lot of money, I met an amazing woman. Her name is Allie, and she believed in me more than I believed in myself. And she's, she said, you know, we should get into real estate. And this was around 2001, 2002. I met her in 2001. And 2002, she said, we should get into real estate. And I didn't know anything about real estate, so I got Rich Dad, Poor Dad and Carlton Sheets. I studied. I got involved in real estate. And during the boom... I built these four houses. I did fixers first, you know, fixer-uppers, cosmetic fixers, and then I built these four houses and sold them and made a bunch of money. I became quite fat and happy, making money with butter and real estate, and this is me at my peak weight, 236, technically obese. And then one night soon, this is like, now we've progressed through the 2000s all the way to 2008, and in September of 2008, Thank you, George. I appreciate that. In, in September 2008, I was at a men's self-help campfire, and the shaman on the other side of the campfire points at me through the yellow and orange crackling flames, and he goes, you don't know it yet, but you're already dead. And I'm like, what do you mean, man? I'm the most successful guy on this team. Eight years ago, I was driving a cab. Now I'm a millionaire. I used to be living on a little boat. Now I'm living in a mansion. What are you talking about? He goes, you're already dead. You just don't know it. I had never encountered anything like that before. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. And I would, for months after that, I could not stop thinking about what that guy said. You're already dead. You're already dead. What does that mean? I'm already dead. What does that mean, really? Really, what does that mean? Well, came to be January 1st, 2009. And I woke up on New Year's Day and pulled out a pen and a pad of paper to write down my list of goals for the year like I got in the habit of doing once I became successful as a businessman. And I asked myself something that was inspired by the shaman at the campfire. And that question was, if this was going to be the last year of your life, dude, what would you want to accomplish? If this was going to be the last year of your life, what would you want to accomplish? And I'd like to ask you guys that right now. See, when I was on the Today Show, they said, you have, a, you have a good idea, Clint. You ask yourself a question every year. And I said, you got to ask this question at a peak state moment. And, you know, we're not near New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, but we are here right now in this transformational experience because, believe it or not, there are some of you on this webinar right now who are going to look back at this day, at this moment, at this hour, and they're going to see that this was the moment that their life changed. And so I would invite you to answer this question right now yourself. If this was going to be the last year of your life, what would you want to accomplish? Type your answers in the chat. Let's see what we got. To interview or be interviewed by Oprah. Okay. Who else? Who else is willing to share? What would you do if this was going to be the last year of your life? What would be the one big thing? And I'll tell you mine in a second. Come on, what would be your one big thing? Type it in the chat. Anybody got guts to share? To publish my book and become a public speaker. Good. To create a major glass art project. Good. Anybody else? To be recognized for who I be. Okay. Good. Something specific. If this was going to be the last year of your life, what would you do? Like, I'm working on books right now. Like, I live every year as if it's going to be the last year of my life. You know what? I've already, I've been, I, I did already 
do two books that I've been putting off for a while. I already knocked them out for this year so that I can really focus on what I really want to do. Okay? Because this year, I want to write a book called The Wisdom of the Men, and that's going to be like all the wisest things that I've learned from the men that I've known in my life. Because I'm going to be 50 years old this year. I'm going to write a killer book, and it's going to be about the wise shit that I have learned from the men in my life. Okay? I'm going to write that. Yeah. What does Carrie say? Write a children's book series to be, okay. Anybody else want to publicly declare what they would do if this was going to be the last year of their life? Yeah, exactly. Well, I was really surprised. Thank you. I was really surprised by what I wrote down that day. What I wrote down that day was I got to write my book. See, I hadn't written a word. Remember I burned all the screenplays and books? I hadn't written a word in eight, over eight years. It just went by like, like in the snap of a finger. It was amazing. And... Uh, I was, I, was, I was really, you know, missing writing, and I was shocked. But what I wanted to do that year was write my book about what I learned at the Wharton Business School because my daughter was 13 at the time, and I wanted to preserve all that wisdom for her. And I wrote that book in the snap of a finger. It was amazing. It just went, came right out. And the only problem I had, I mean, that year was an amazing year. 2009 was just amazing. Amazing. But the only problem I really had was that in that whole year, I sold a grand total of eight copies of that book. And I thought that was rather disappointing results considering the topic of the book being, you know, the wisdom of the best business school in the whole world. And so I, I called up and I spoke to Jack Canfield, you know, the chicken soup for the soul guy guy who sold more books than anybody. I said, Jack, what am I supposed to do? And he goes, you got to do media, bro. When we were promoting Chicken Soup to make it a number one bestseller, we were on radio, TV, newspapers, doing everything we possibly could to get the word out about that book for three years before it became a bestseller. Sounded like a smart move, except I didn't want to mess around with all the small media. I wanted the big stuff, right? So I called up a publicist in New York. I said, get me on the Today Show. I don't care what it costs. And she laughed at me. She said, Clint, that's hysterical. You're a middle-aged guy nobody's ever heard of. You got a self-published book nobody's ever bought. No TV experience. They're never going to put you on the Today Show. Never. You got to start small. I said, all right. Get me on NBC New York. I'm a native New Yorker. Get me on my hometown station so I can talk about the lessons that I've learned at the greatest business school in the world. And when she stopped laughing at me the second time, she goes, Clint, I think I've got you figured out. You're not really a business author. You're a comedian. Because that's the second hysterically funny thing that I have heard you say in 30 seconds. They are never going to put you on NBC New York. You're a middle-aged guy nobody's ever heard of. You got a self-published book nobody's ever bought. No TV experience. NBC New York is the number one station in the number one market. That's like being on national TV, like the Today Show. You got to start in small local markets. That's the only chance you have. And I was sitting at my computer and I saw this route map from Southwest Airlines pop up in an email. And I said to the producer, uh, I said to the publicist, you can't get me on in New York City. How about in Salt Lake City? Can you do that? And she said, oh, I can do that. And it's only going to cost you 1500 bucks to get you on in Salt Lake or any city outside the top 10 markets. Let me know. I said, do it. Send, let me know. Get me on. Let's see if you can make that happen. And a couple days later, I get an email from this publicist. It says, congratulations. You're booked on TV in Salt Lake City on this date at this time. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at this email and I'm thinking to myself, got my iPhone. I'm like, are they really going to put me on TV in Salt Lake City? Who ever heard of? I got a self published book nobody's ever bought, no TV experience. Why would they put me on? But they did. And I truly went there to be awesome. I And unfortunately, that was not the case. I totally sucked when I was in Salt Lake City. However, 
there's a lot of lessons we can learn from that, and let's take a look at it. All right, then this is my second television appearance. This is a frame for my second TV appearance, which was more illustrative of my mistakes, and we'll go through the mistakes. The first one is never get your hair cut the day before you go on TV because you don't know if you're going to like it, okay? You want to have great hair when you're on TV or be totally bald. The second mistake is you want to smile when you go on TV. Going on TV is about helping your customers and prospects to know, like, and trust you. And smiling makes that much more possible. Look at Lisa Sasevich. Any Lisa fans out there? If you're a Lisa fan, type Lisa exclamation point in, in the chat. Uh, Lisa smiles all day long for four days in a row when she does her live seminars. And thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Katie. I love, I love Lisa. And I went with her to her second television appearance, which was in Las Vegas. And I, and I have a video in my members area. I make these behind the scenes videos of what it's like to go on TV for my students so that they can see what it's going to be like for them when they go on TV. And in the video, I asked Lisa, hey, Lisa, how do you do it? How do you smile for three days straight when you're on stage? She goes, oh, it's easy. My dad was a ventriloquist. It's genetic. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, third mistake, try on the clothes before you wear them on TV. See, this is, I showed you how fat I was. I lost the weight during the last year of my life. And uh, this was one of my fat suits from when I was portly, and I had not tried it on before I wore it on TV. You got to wear the clothes before you wear them on TV. Next, prop, uh, hands. I call these nice boy hands. We have, we've all been ingrained in, in our minds to be nice boys and girls, and you can't be a nice boy or a girl on TV. Nobody wants to watch nice boys and girls on TV. People want to watch people who are entertaining. Entertaining take, people are powerful people who take up a lot of space, and you don't want to have these nice boy hands. And then last is props. Props are a great idea on television especially in any kind of presentation, but microscopic props are not such a good idea. You want to use full-size props like Mike Keenix used his electric car, the Tesla Roadster, when he went on San Diego Living, and it was the car itself which got him booked on this appearance. Hey, guys, after I sucked in, in, in um, Salt Lake City, I got three more appearances, 1500 each. I burned through $6,000 on my first four TV appearances, six grand. And, man, I tell you what, that was not very cool because every one of those four appearances sucked. And I'm sitting there with my wife, and I'm, I'm like, going through the videos, watching them with her. And she goes, honey, if you're ever going to get on the Today Show, you've got to do a lot more TV and get better. <laughs> and I said, I... Agree, And that was a blow to my ego because I was thinking I was going to be awesome and was going to be able to impress my wife. Anybody relate to that? And instead, I was basically embarrassed in front of my wife. And I said, all right, I'll call the publicist. I was pretty demoralized. I said, I'll call the publicist and get some more of those appearances. And she goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you have to keep paying that lady? Can't you just book yourself on TV? And I didn't know the answer to that question. And lucky thing for me, I am a tough-as-nails, thick-skinned New Yorker because day after day after day, I started waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning and getting on the phone and figuring out phone numbers for TV stations across the country that I wanted to go on and calling them up and trying to figure out how do you get on TV? I mean, I, there, there is no training program for how to get on TV, or there was no training program for how to get on TV. It didn't exist. I had to figure this stuff out by myself, and it took me months to do it. And it took me years to refine my studies of how you do this. And in the first year, all I booked was seven appearances. Imagine that, a whole year. I managed to get on TV seven times myself. The first four, I paid $6,000 for. 
The next seven, I saved $10,000, 10500 I had a total of 11 appearances by the end of the first year. I was starting to get traction. But through my second year, I booked 20 more appearances. I saved thirty grand. And I had a total of 31 appearances. My 30, and I had saved over $40,000. That was really cool. Imagine if I had been paying that publicist 1500 every time to get me on these shows. I would have spent an extra forty grand. Hey, man, that's a nice car, forty grand. And my 32nd television appearance came at the end of two years of doing it, and it was on NBC New York. And the interesting part was that I was still a middle-aged guy nobody had ever heard of. I still had a self-published book nobody had ever bought because I had this brand new book that I made just for that appearance. And I still was not a famous guy like George Clooney or anybody, any politician or nothing. But what I had was I had learned how to make these one-page segment proposals. And I had this new book cover that I commissioned, which is a nice book cover. I got that one off 99 Designs. It was like 300 bucks. And I learned how to create these one-page proposals for producers about that would get me booked on TV shows. And I learned that using celebrities was very helpful in this process because this was the headline from that one. George Clooney will never be president, but New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning could. And my magic messengers, these are my students. When you learn how to book yourself on TV news or talk shows, you become what I call a magic messenger. My magic messengers and I have used this formula to get on TV all over the place. Mike Keenings was on for uh, Earth Day with his Life with Tesla movie promoting that. And here's a little video about what he said about this process for him. Well, I took these three ideas that Clint gave me, and we actually tripled the sales that we had on that day using these three nuggets. So the point of this is this. Number one, coaches need coaches, and if you don't have a coach, Clint Arthur is an incredible coach. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm honored to have a student like Mike Keenix. Lisa Sasevich, the queen of sales conversion, is one of my students. She calls local TV news and talk show interviews her secret weapon for positioning. Uh, Tracy Repchuk has used local TV to generate leads, 680 leads from one appearance in Chicago. Shanna Landolt, hey, is anybody international or anybody from Canada or any other countries? If you're from another country outside the U.S., type what country you are in the chat, please. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller, all right, buddy's American, okay. Uh, well, look, if you want to go on TV in different countries, you can accomplish that. Uh, Shanna Landolt did five appearances in the U.S., and then she booked herself on the number one television morning program in Canada. It's called Breakfast TV in Toronto. It took her four months to make it to the top of Canadian TV. If you have more confidence, would you make more sales? Would you be able to be more successful? in your business? If you think so, type in yes. If you had more charisma, could you be more successful in your business? If you think so, please type in the chat yes. If you had more poise as a speaker or a presenter, could you type, could you make more money or be more successful? If you were better looking, could you make more money and be more successful? Hey, here's Chris and Catherine. They're a couple of my early, early, early magic messengers. They started working with me back in 2012, and uh, here they are on their first TV appearance. Here they are after 16 appearances in Los Angeles, California. Let's compare and contrast. It took them one year. Did they get better looking? Did they get more charismatic, more poised? Did they have more confidence in one year's time? You can see the difference in the two pictures. And that's what you get from TV, really. It helps you to improve in every possible way. That's why my new book is called Break Through Your Upper Limits on TV because it helps you to break through every upper limit. It's the best personal development and transformation experience you can get. And it especially makes you a better speaker. If you're a speaker, type your name in the chat, please, if you're a speaker, okay? 
and nothing is going to accelerate your speaking career like going on TV because you get the sizzle reel, and the sizzle reel helps you to get the gigs, okay? George Carroll is a speaker. Anybody else? And I'll tell you what, folks. Uh, speaking is a tremendous way to accelerate your business, and it's helped me to get on a lot of, be, a lot of big stages. Here I am on the GKIC uh, Info Summit. Uh, this was the Super Conference stage. Here I am on the David Nagel stage. Here I am on Lisa Sasevich's main stage at her Speak to Sell boot camp. Uh, it helps my students get on some big stages. Here is Barry, uh, Barry, what is Barry's last name? Barry, man, what's Barry's last name? I hate this. This is why I'm trying to improve my memory. Jesus Christ. TV will not help your memory, though. <laughs> Barry, anyway, there's Barry on a TEDx stage. Uh, these are all students of mine speaking in front of groups to grow their business and make more money. And it particularly helped Sandy Masori because after Sandy got on the Today Show, and there I am coaching her on her appearance there on the Today Show. After Sandy got on her on the Today Show, she's been on my Keenig stage multiple times. And like I said, it will help you to break through your, all of your upper limits on TV, and it will also help you to become somebody special. And that's important because money always asks, is he a somebody or a nobody? This is important stuff. You've got to understand that if you want to make money, you've got to be somebody because money flows to somebody's. And when you go on TV, you get to meet the special people in our society. And hanging out with these people helps you to become more of a somebody. That's a, a marketing concept called celebrity attachment taught to me by ABC's secret millionaire James Malinchak. And this is a concept that's, been used, that's being used every day by the top celebrities because they, everybody knows that celebrities hang out with other celebrities. It's been going on in Hollywood for years and decades. Celebrities hang out with other celebrities. It's been going on since the beginning of Hollywood. Here's Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. hanging out together because celebrities hang out with other celebrities. It's been going on since before Hollywood. Here's Ben Franklin hanging out with Thomas Jefferson. Celebrities hang out with other celebrities. And it's been going on since biblical times. Here's Adam and Eve hanging out with the serpent because celebrities hang out with other celebrities. And this is the philosophy. This is the strategy you need to use, okay? I don't care. I don't care if you do training with me or not. This is the strategy you need to use. You start in little cities like New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you work your way up. It took Sandy three months to make it onto the Today Show. You go to little places like Virginia, and you work your way up. This is Veronica Gray. She made it on Good Morning America in two years. You go to little cities like Palm Springs, and you work your way up. This is Kellyanne Petrucci. It took her one year to get on Dr. Oz. You have to work your way up and pay your dues. And really what this is about is living your dreams. I mean, this is a text message from Dr. Kellyanne. She said, this is my dream, Clint. I mean, I'm really living my dream. That's what this is all about. Yeah, Sean Ira Carroll started out in San Angelo, Texas, and was working his way up. And you do it with the formula. Let's go into the formula. H to the X is hooks. There's all kinds of different hooks. But the most, if only you use one hook, the only hook you really need to use is the local hook. Why is this important to the local audience? Why are they going to put you on in Las Vegas? You've got to answer that question. C to the X is celebrities. You've got to use big celebrities like George Clooney and Bill Clinton and Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah. You've got to put them in your segments like I use George Clooney. You've got to put P, props, a pen is a valuable prop because the pen is mightier than the sword and it helps to illustrate why this is going to be valuable to the viewers. It makes, it makes the whole thing more dynamic when I explain to you that I'm sitting there 
reading the email on my cell phone. See, it just makes the whole experience more dynamic for the viewer. You got to have D, a demonstration. Let me show you a great demonstration here. The best kinds of props are everyday items, like a dollar bill, right? Watch how you do a demonstration on TV. You take the prop and you interact with the prop. That's how you do a demonstration on TV, and demonstrations make your segments come alive, okay? AC, appropriate costume. You see how Ron Burgundy is using the costume. I mean, Will Ferrell is using the costume. He's using the costume to put Ron Burgundy on the show. That's not Will Ferrell. It's Ron Burgundy because he's wearing a costume and to wear an appropriate costume to make your presentation on TV that much more goodlier. And then TA slash F is a takeaway or a formula. So here's my formula for how to get on TV. This is your takeaway for how you can get on TV. You use a hook. You use celebrities. You put in props, a demonstration, an appropriate costume, and a takeaway or a formula. And you put all those things together, and that's how you get on TV. Now, when I go on TV to talk about coming alive to promote my book, The Last Year of Your Life, or the greatest book of all time. I have two versions of it. I use the alive formula. And the alive formula is awareness that this could be the last year of your life. L, let go of your past mistakes. We've all failed the diets. Don't beat yourself up. I inspire yourself with great goals and dreams. Man, I am so excited. I'm going to be going to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel for a month this year. And I am thrilled and excited about that. V, visualize how you're going to make it happen. And E, Energize yourself for the journey ahead. And my favorite kind of energy is from reading great quotes. And my favorite quote is from General George Patton, the man who saved the free world. Accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. And that's how you come alive. And that's a formula the way you do it on TV. See? So that's an illustration of the whole formula. Now, Dave Striegel is an auto mechanic. He came to my celebrity launch pad and got on Good Day LA with his 11th and 12th appearances. Okay, the guy's an auto mechanic in Pittsburgh. Amazing things are, are possible with this. Uh, MJ Jenkins, her topic is breast cancer. Okay, so look, his topic is how to change a tire. Hers is how to prevent breast cancer. Okay, Angela Williams is preventing child sexual abuse. If you're a messenger with a message, we can make this happen. There's... Fantastic Frank, his message is, hey, he has a traumatic brain injury. We can't all be so lucky as to have a traumatic brain injury. But his is, hey, anybody can make anything happen in their life. That's his message. Local TV equals celebrity, my friends. And if you want to achieve celebrity in your career, you need to use local TV. And the last place you want to go on TV is your hometown. Really, the last place you want to go it's the easiest place to get booked, and it's the last place you should get booked. Because by the time you go on TV in your hometown, you want to be awesome so that they'll invite you back to do more appearances. And right now, I would like to invite you to join our community of Magic Messengers. Every one of these people is just an ordinary person who has come through my training and has learned how to book themselves on TV. Every single one of these people has learned how to book themselves on TV, and you can do it too. And, man, here's, I, I think we have, in, in this video, we even have George Ira Carroll. Uh, we even have George Ira Carroll. Lawrence Depew here, and it's been a wonderful weekend at the Instant Local Celebrity Live event. Uh, we've had three wonderful days, and out of all the seminars I've been to, I'm walking away with something, which is amazing. Typically, you go and learn and say, hey, I need to do this, I need to do that, or I should do that. Clint was great, forces us to sit down and craft what we need, and then we put it in implementation. I stayed for the Monday morning. Uh, I am going to uh, show you how you can get involved, okay? And the way to get involved is you go to Instant Local Celebrity com. All right. All right. So if you go to instantlocalcelebrity.com, you will see we have all of these testimonials. 
and all of these people who have come through. Where is George Irakow? Playlist. I think he's on this one. Muted. Hey, Clint, is it the one where I'm holding your dog? Yeah, yeah, trying to find yeah, it, trying to it. find it. I love that dog. I miss that dog, actually. Here he is. Here he is. Hi, this is George Carroll. I am the author of the Homeless Motivational Speaker. I just got finished with Arthur's weekend local celebrity. Local celebrity. It was a brilliant, brilliant event. event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
You get my personal Rolodex of every TV station and show in the top 100 markets. There's over 400 TV shows for you to target and get on and get those producers to create these free marketing videos for you. Then I want to give you some bonuses that will be awesome and very useful to you. The first one is behind the scenes videos at local and national TV shows like the one with Lisa at Fox Las Vegas. Here's one I made of my appearance at 30 Rockefeller Center, my appearance at NBC New York. It's, it's a great video. Uh, here's one I made of my appearance at NBC Miami, a very bookable station. Here's one that I made with Tracy Repchuk. She is uh, one of my magic messengers, and she did four appearances in one day in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I shot a video of the whole entire thing. So you can see what it's like to go on a small station and do multiple appearances in one day. Here's one I did with Mike Keenix. Uh, this was the pitch that got him booked on that episode where he used his electric car. Okay? Uh, here is another behind-the-scenes video. Uh, bonus number two, my instant local celebrity live two-day training. This is the one that George came to, and at the end of that training, he booked himself on shows. And, it, you know, George, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, you know, as impressed as I was with what you guys accomplished in your VIP implementation day, I had a student at my last event in December. She went home after day one, woke up early on day two, and booked herself on a show after only a day of training. And she wasn't even a VIP. She just came as a regular attendee. But at any case, everybody who enrolls today is going to get a ticket to come to this live two-day training here at my offices. Take a look. Click photo booth to resume. Let's see. Let's see. Here. Right here. And sit in my, sit in my conference table in my offices, and I'm going to teach you what you need to know to make it happen. It is a $3,000 value. It's going to be limited to only 36 people in the room. Hey, man, I would get into this if I was you. Uh, the dates, okay, the date of this is not January 10th and 11th. The date of this next one is at the end of May, okay? There's going to be one at the end of May, and I need to check the dates. And there is another one that's going to be happening at the end of the year. And you can come to either one of those, May or um, November. Okay? You can go to either one of those. All right? Uh, and our offices are on the lot at Sunset Bronson Studios. That's where they shoot the Channel 5 News in Hollywood. And I don't know if you can see, like right here, right over here is the Hollywood sign, guys. You're coming to Hollywood. You're going to be on a major television production studio lot, and I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know. You can see that directly, here's my office. Directly across the hall is Judge Judy's office. The Arsenio Hall show used to be on the lot, but they got canceled. Let's Make a Deal is still on the lot. It's, it's, the real time. it's the real big time, my friends. It's the real deal. Only during this presentation, and I got to go soon because I got my webinar starting in a couple of hours. You will get uh, some special bonuses, and that, this is the bonus that you guys are going to get. It's a one-on-one -on -one live call with me a one-on-one -on -one live call with me for 30 minutes to make sure that you're on the right track with your segment proposals, with your proposal that you're writing for, to get on TV. I, I'm hardly ever giving out this bonus, okay? And if you enroll on this call, you're going to get one of these bonus calls with me. This is a huge... this to do this with you, it would take you six months and 30 grand to get these kind of results from a publicist, and I don't think you could get the results that you could get with this training mm -hmm. from, a public, from a publicist. Hey, Clint? Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to jump in real quick because um, something I wanted to share 
is that at the at the live training is where we spent the time synthesizing all of this information into a one page sheet and that one sheet is what helped will help you get on so if this is resonating with you really check in but basically I still have my script that Clint helped me create inside of that training and that one sheet he has a ton of examples of what they need to look like what they need to say all of the hooks that he's talked about and so I still have my script from that and at any moment in time uh, I can call these offices because you get his Rolodex of all the different news channels all over the country I think it's the top 150 or something like that and you get the names and the phone numbers of the people you need to talk to and you simply just go through the script and in fact Trina I don't know if Trina is on the line Trina are you on the line I don't think she made it today but Trina signed up for this same exact program she went out to Hollywood and she was part of Clint's most recent um, Trina Hall instant Trina location. Hall yep Trina Hall uh, she yep. was part of that program yep. and she had nothing but good things to say about it and so that's you know I wish I could say like the, the the thing that you'll get out of there is you'll have a synthesized sort of way of getting yourself on TV with that specific one sheet with the script and the, the Clint will totally over deliver so check in with where you are right now if, if you're at that point where you want to bring this into your marketing strategy I know it's helped me out tremendously and you know Clint totally over delivered for me and so um, I'm happy that we're doing this right now because it's kind of re-inspiring me to check in and say hey where can I start booking myself again so I just wanted you to share be, that. You should be. You should be. You've got to be, be on the phone. On the phone. And first of all, you've got to you 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 meet yourself out. And I, I do want to wrap this up, and I'm very close to being done. Uh, you've got to get on the phone and continue to build your celebrity, George. It, you cannot rest on the laurels of three TV appearances. In, in the big scheme of things, okay, you've got to understand, we are not competing on, on some little level. We're not trying to get 150 likes on Facebook. We're competing with major celebrities, and you need to keep growing your celebrity. And, you know, a lot of people just came through my celebrity launch pad this past weekend. It's a $10,000 event where we guarantee you're going to get two appearances. And in this program that I'm offering you, I'm not offering you guarantees, but I'm not expecting you to invest $10,000 either, okay? Um, what we are – normally getting is 29.95 for instant local celebrity and uh, again what you get are, are the you need to change as few words as possible and just rip them off there is no penalty for plagiarism and i want you to be i want you to feel like if you were to not do this that you would be insane i really do so uh why do I want you to do that? Because, look, I told you how I've never met my father, right? And maybe you're not looking to meet your father. Maybe that's not what's driving you. But what I've learned is that the times when I've felt closest to filling the hole in my heart from where I was supposed to have the love of my dad have been the times when I have been sharing my message on television or – the other times are the times when I've seen my friends and my magic messengers sharing their messages on TV. That's when I felt closest to filling the hole in my heart. And that's why I do what I do, and that's why I'm making this special offer. If you want to give this a shot, it's only $299 today plus four installments of $499, okay? So don't let money hold you back because – to be able to become as big a celebrity as you want for only two ninety nine today plus four payments of four ninety nine I mean you can't even get a kid uh, like some publicity school graduate to to do this for you that or you could pay eighteen ninety nine today one single installment of eighteen ninety eighteen ninety nine today and save three hundred plus bucks, like 400 bucks, okay? So don't let money hold you back. Take one of these offers and make it happen, okay? 
uh, you have a full 60 days to evaluate this program. And if you're dissatisfied in any way, we'll be happy to refund your money. Okay? But I'm telling you, if, if there's, there's a caveat there. If you do the coaching with me or if you come to the live event before the, you know, before the 60 days are up, then that's, that's the, the only caveat on the refund. Okay? You have 60 days to evaluate it and try it out. And again, the offer is... $299 today plus four payments of $499 or $1899 today. And if you want to take advantage of these offers, then you need to act right now. And I'm telling you, these are old slides, and this is the last time I'm going to offer it at this beautiful, attractive rate. So if you want to make this happen, here's what you got to do. Uh, you have to get on the phone right now, let me see, let's see, you have to pick up your phone and make a phone call and see if my wife can take these calls. This is a totally special offer. Hi, this is Alex. She can't take this call. If you want this offer, you have to take advantage of it in the next 15 minutes. It's now 3.15, you have until 3.30 p.m. to take advantage of this offer. And, uh, you did. Hey, Clint, I mean, yeah. some, people, yeah. some people won't see the recording until maybe later today or tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Um, do you, do you still have know, the link? Do you still from, have the link? From, oh, I know what we can oh, do. I know what we can do. All right. If you're on this live right now, then you need to go to uh, your phone and pick up the phone and call me. Okay? You can get this offer right now if you call me at area code 310-415-0450. Okay? The offer is $299 today and four installments of $499 or $1899 as a single pay. Okay? If you are on a recording, you can go to instantlocalcelebrity.com until uh, I'm going to change these boxes. Unmuted. Clint, you went static, man. Hold on one second. Clint, are you yeah. there? Yeah. I'm here. If you want the offer right now, you need to call and get the offer right now. Call this number, 310-415-0450. If you want to, uh, if you're on a recording of this webinar, you go to instantlocalcelebrity.com until March 7th, and you can get this offer on a special page that will be take I have time to take like two questions if you have a question type your name in the chat and I'll be happy to answer a question anybody have a question I've unmuted everybody Mute. just because um, some people are calling in on their phone. So uh, everybody, your lines are open if you have any final questions for Clint. Let me just say this. Let me just okay? say this, okay? Put the mute on the line. Put the mute echoing. on the line because it's echoing. Business school. Okay. Okay. And and they don't teach you this they stuff in the work stuff in the work business school. Please mute all the lines. Please mute all the lines. The single most 
important thing you can do as an entrepreneur or an author is to become a famous entrepreneur or an author. People will give you money. because of who you are, not what you do. It's shocking, but it's true. If you think about the opportunities that come to celebrities like Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian, I'm not saying that you are going to be Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian. But what I am saying is you don't need to be Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian. You just have to start achieving some level of fame and celebrity. And you can do that only in one true way. I mean, you know, putting a video on YouTube doesn't make you famous. Having a lot of friends on, on Facebook does not make you famous. What makes you famous and makes you a celebrity is getting on TV news and talk shows. That's what it is. That's it. And if you want to have a chance of selling books and making stuff happen for your career, You've got to do this. You really do. I wish there was something easier that you could do, my friends. I wish there was a magic button that you could push to make everything going to be all right. But you know what? Everything's not going to be all right. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. Everything is not going to be all right unless you take massive action, as Tony Robbins says. And the massive action that you've got to take is you've got to become a celebrity in this day and age or else nobody cares and nobody's going to buy your book and nobody's going to give you money to do what you do. And that's the sad but true fact. And what we do is we make that possible with the magic formula and with this training. And if you want it, you've got to step up and grab it right now. Okay? So, with that said, I'm standing by on my cell phone. The number is 310-415-0450. Okay? 310-415-0450. I'll be happy to take a credit card and get you going. I'm going to put a link to this. I'm going to replace these buttons on Instant Local Celebrity. They'll be available for you to enroll. Uh, but you're not going to get the one-on-one -on -one phone call if you enroll off the website. In order to get the one-on-one -on -one phone call, that bonus is only available to people who are on this live event right now, and uh, you are not going to get that call unless you enroll with me on the phone right here and right now. Okay? So pick up your phone, get your courage up, find $299 to make an investment in yourself and make this happen. Okay? And that's going to wrap up this presentation. George, thank you so much for opening this up to your people. And uh, thanks for being a great student. And I'm looking forward to seeing you more on more television. You did. Cool. Thanks, Clint. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to mute you so you can't say anything any anymore. But uh, guys, check in if you're at that point where you want to add this to your, your strategy. Um, check in only you know but I recommend if you think you're going to do it in the future, take advantage of the pricing now because you'll have access to that live training, which is where a lot of the magic happens. And you'll be able to tap into all the resources online that he has in his online training course. So, you know, Clint is one of my favorite mentors because he tends to over deliver. And that's one of my favorite things about people in this space is that, um, there's not a ton of people who are over delivering and Clint is one of those people for sure. So thanks for all the work you do, Clint. Guys, if you have any questions about the program, feel free to reach out to Clint, give him a call. Um, you can also call me or ask me questions inside the Facebook group. Um, and again, check in if it's, uh, if you're at a point where you're ready to jump into it and it feels light, step in. Um, and if not, then maybe now is not the time. So, uh, thanks again, Clint, for everything and hopefully, uh, I can get this recording out to you guys tonight or tomorrow, and you can watch it because there's a lot of really solid nuggets in there. So thanks, guys, for being on this call and inside of this Becoming a Published Author in 126 Days Mastermind. 
Uh, I look forward to staying in contact with you and watching all of your progress. Uh, take good care, and we'll talk to everybody real soon. Bye now. Goodbye.